So guys, boom. According to NBA DraftNet, Jaden Hardy is projected to go number 20 in the 2022 NBA Draft. And it's wild because Jaden Hardy finished his high school basketball career as the second ranked player in all of high school back in that class of 2021. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally feel like a lot of people has actually forgotten about Jaden Hardy. And I'm honestly questioning, and I wonder if Jaden Hardy himself thinks that he honestly made the wrong decision by going towards that NBA G League route and you watching this video, I want to know your personal opinions about Jaden Hardy's decision to go towards the G League. Do you think he should have went to college? What are your honest opinions about Jaden Hardy's decision? And where would you guys actually draft him in this up and coming 22-22 NBA draft? And you watching this video, if you can do me a quick little favor and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're almost so close to 30,000 subscribers. Join the free Discord down below. Now guys, if you remember Jaden Hardy back in high school, like I said, he did finish his high school career as the second ranked player according to ESPN in his class. And Jaden was actually known for being this crazy prolific scorer that can score in a multitude of ways, especially in the half court setting. And this guy was as crazy as it gets. He had multiple 40 point games. He had a game where he dropped 39 points against Amari Bailey, as well as Bronny James and Sierra Canyon. And he exploded for 62 points in a high school game one. So I'm telling you, this guy was arguably the best scorer in all of high school, no matter what. And like I said, it's honestly crazy to me that people just honestly forgot just how well this guy can score the ball he even drew many comparisons to guys like bradley beal james harden damian lillard with his ability to shoot it far from the outside and especially at that time i'm telling you Jaden hardy to me was easily the best scorer in all of high school now with Jaden hardy being the scorer that he is and also being ranked as the second best player in the country behind chet holgram i'm sure you guys know that ultimately led him to getting offers from pretty much everybody in their mama and every single school out there in college but just being the person and the player that Jaden hardy is i'm sure this was a very hard decision for him and he's even said it himself that he spoke to Jalen green he spoke to jonathan kaminga Deshaun Nix, guys that went towards that NBA G League route and guys that are also having some pretty solid NBA careers so far. He spoke to them. They explained the whole situation of how the G League works, how the G League actually prepared them for the NBA. And that ultimately led to Jaden Hardy deciding to skip college to go towards that NBA G League route. Now, I'm telling you, in my personal opinion, I think that he honestly made the right decision. I mean, guys, Jaden Hardy, he said it himself. And I'm sure you guys already know this. You can work on your game 24 seven. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to do unnecessary math problems about algebra. I'm sure you watching this video. I don't know if you've been to high school. I don't know if you've been to college, but you already know they make you do so much unnecessary things and work and test that, that you're not even gonna be using after college. I still to this day have not done anything with the, what is it? The elements with the 114 elements on the periodic table, the pie charts. I have not done nothing. None of that so the fact that Jaden hardy understands just the differences and the way that you can work on your game 24 7 and it's also a place that can prepare you for the nba and he's even said it himself that he's had to play against guys that are feeding his family the coaching is so much different they prepare you about screens how to be an nba wing how to be an nba guard how to play off the ball all these little things really just ultimately led him to really making his decision. And I personally think that Jaden Hardy did make the right decision by going towards the G League. I do want to know your opinions on Jaden Hardy going towards that G League route. Now, how good of a player was Jaden Hardy in the G League? Jaden Hardy finished his G League career averaging about 19.4 points a game while shooting 37% from the field, 30% from three, close to 80% from the free throw line, four rebounds, 3.5 assists, as well as 3.3 turnovers. Now, some notable games that he did have was that he did finish two games where he did score 30 points, which one of them was against Kyrie Walker, a fan favorite, where he also finished with nine assists in that game. And he also outplayed Sharif Cooper, where he did drop 29 points versus Sharif's five points in that game. He also finished his last five games of the season, averaging about 25 points a game. And throughout that entire season, G League team finished with a seven and 18 record. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally don't care about the seven and 18 record. Whenever I was watching Jaden Hardy just throughout the season, I wanted to know just what are some things that he improved on? What was his transition like from the high school game to the NBA 
G League game? Was he scoring the ball at an efficient rate? Is he an underrated playmaker? What are some things that Jaden Hardy was doing? And from what I personally saw, you can see that he's definitely one of the best shot creators throughout the entire draft. The way that he can use his ball handling ability to break down his defenders to get to the rim or even just shoot it off the dribble, coming off screens, and really just learning to play and adapt to that NBA game. You can see that Jaden Hardy showed a ton of improvements with just the way that he can score the ball. And you would think just the differences between high school and the G League, just playing with little kids in high school versus grown men in the G League, you would think that it would be hard to score. But the fact that he still managed to average close to 20 points a game, I think that's pretty impressive while also shooting close to 80% from the line. I do like the fact that Jaden Hardy showed that he can play make for his teammates as well. I would actually categorize him as definitely an underrated playmaker with just the ability to pass the ball in the pick and roll settings, to pass the ball in slick scenarios, understanding how to drive and kick, and just his overall floor general abilities, I think that he can honestly bring that to an NBA team. And I generally think that Jaden Hardy can be a great star somewhere on an NBA team. I'm telling you guys, even he said it himself, just the way that the G League just prepared him to be able to play as a combo guard as either a one or a two, and just with his, his stature and his NBA build, although he doesn't have the explosiveness like a lot of these other guys like a Jaden Hardy or a Shaden Sharp I think that those little things can definitely adapt over time and just the fact that he has that shooting ability and the playmaking ability that he has he can potentially be like a Damian Lillard Bradley Beal James Harden but just his way to score the ball as well as being able to dish it out to his teammates like I said he did have a game where he finished with nine assists which I think is pretty impressive and he's also had multiple point 30 point games overall I do want to know your opinions about Jaden Hardy if he did make the right decision if you guys felt like he did make the wrong decision do you think he made a mistake what are your opinions on Jaden Hardy it's honestly crazy to me that people still have this man going after the lottery I think he's easily one of the best scorers in this draft honestly on the level probably if not better than a guy like Jaden Ivey Shaden Sharp I think that Jaden Hardy's proved that he can play somewhere in the NBA and I honestly just do not understand how he's projected to go in the 20s but that's just me where would you guys actually draft Jaden Hardy is he one of the best players in the country did you guys forget about Jaden Hardy anything Jaden Hardy related just comment down below guys and let's get a great basketball conversation started guys if you made it to the end please make sure you smash that like button it helps the channel out in so many ways you guys have no idea let me know which player you guys want me to take a look at next I probably will be dropping a shade and sharp video either tomorrow or I've actually dropped it the day before so make sure you guys go check those videos out as well smash the like button join the free discord down below do all that fun stuff yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching it's been another episode of juice mate tv peace